word to flow through Mother Crow. Yes. Lord God, we need a word.
Amen. We're going to uh, ask that um, First Lady Donna Brill will come and introduce our speaker. And after that, um, Brother David has a call. But we're, we're, I'm adamant that Alexander is going to sing a solo tonight. So I'm going to ask my own friend, Sister Leah Alexander, if she will bring her solo to us. I love you too, Sister Leah. And the next question here will be that of our speaker. Amen. Amen.
uh, take chemo. And they're going to put a port in. Right, yeah. Amen. And, uh, you know, so we are believing God. Yeah. We, we are saying we, we met at a house. I, I thank God I taught all my children to pray. Yeah. Yeah. My boys can get a prayer through. All my daughters, we all met there. Yeah. Amen. And we're going to be meeting every week yeah. until God worked this miracle. I, I believe it's for the glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're holding him up in prayer and we want you to hold him up in prayer. Amen. Because prayer changed things. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I thank God for Jesus. Amen. So we just thankful and before I sit down I, I want uh, you to join me in prayer for him. Amen. Praise the Lord. He can't keep anything down and all of the um, he's having a lot of pain now. Because all of the pain medicine he takes just make him throw up. And, and he can't keep it down. He can't keep no food down. Amen. He was already thin, but he's thinner. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm looking for a miracle. And the subject tonight, Elder Burrell was uh, uh, kidding with me. He said, what's the subject going to be? I said, it's all about men. I'm going to beat up men. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but, but tonight, I'm going to encourage you to return to God, Holy Ghost. Amen. God is looking for Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost has always been a special to God. Yes. Very special to God. And so God is calling us to return to our first love. Amen. My subject tonight is a woman God can use. Hallelujah. A woman or women God can use. Amen. I know when you come to Christ, you want to be used by him. Yes. But God is calling for us to empty yes. ourselves yes. that he might fill us again. Yes. Don't you want to be filled again? Yes. I do. I really do. I remember it. I remember that first feeling. When God was my first love, all I thought about Elder Allen, I wasn't thinking about Brother Paul. I thought about pleasing Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want to please man too much. Amen. Ourselves Amen. and everybody else. Wow. That's why God is calling us back oh. to our first love. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You remember what it was like when you first fell in love with, with that boy, that girl. Amen. All you did was think about pleasing them. Amen. You didn't think about yourself. But somehow Satan tricked us into being self. Uh -huh. Thinking about ourselves. When things go wrong, the first thing we think about is ourselves. Why did it happen to me? How come it's going on with me? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. My scripture, I'm going to be talking from two of them, and then I'm going to read in our familiar passage in uh, Ruth. But first, I'm going to Romans 8 and 28. And the word of the Lord said, all things, all things, he didn't say some of them, he said all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. God has a purpose for every one of us. You haven't found your purpose, then it's now time to get busy and ask God, what does he want of your life here on earth? You we need to be filled and led by the Holy Spirit. Amen? Yes. You know, that's one person of the Trinity. We kind of just dance and shout by him. Amen? And speak in tongues. But he is a very special part of the, 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 the Trinity. 
Jesus said when he was going away, so I'm going to send you another comforter. And Sister Frida, the reason why we need a comforter, because if you live for God, you're going to suffer. Amen. You won't have to deny yourself. Amen. When somebody dies, first thing we do is we go over and we comfort the family. We say gracious words. We say healing words. Because we want to comfort them. Amen. Amen. And that's what the Holy Ghost is for. And we mistreated and put the Holy Ghost out because we just wanted to shout by him, dance by him, speak in tongues. Amen. But God is calling us back. He's telling us that he wants the Holy Spirit to teach us about Christ. That's what we're supposed to witness about Christ, not about you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. It's not about what we need to do. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's about what the Holy Ghost can do through us. So that's why my subject is women or a woman God can use. All right. You can be in the church, but if you don't drop your own life, God can use you. You know why? Because we are to represent Christ. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are to point others, that's Sister Donna's subject, to Christ. Yes. Amen. When they were filled with the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, they were to go out and witness because people can't see Christ in the Spirit. But they can see you. So God called us to go out and witness for Him. Christ is supposed to show up in our life. That people will say, surely you must be a child of God. They'll know it when they see it. Just like Elder Allen, we know all those Allens of Brother Allens. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he can't deny him nowhere, can he? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. It's because they look just like him and they act like him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Poor Sister Teresa, I don't know what happened, but anyway. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he, he, they look like Elder Allen. Or they act like him. Yeah. And that's the way my children are with Brother Paul. They they all are Pauls. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wasn't nobody steeping in the back door. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And so the other subject she had, I think it was last year, was Jesus emptied himself. He made himself of no reputation. Oh, right. And that's what we have done. We is me, it's me, and it's me. Wow. Amen. <laughs> and after that, it's me. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. When things go wrong, Brother Bruce, but that, that's what we think about. Oh, for me. Yeah. The wife don't act right? Me. Right. Children don't act right? Me. <laughs> My Lord. We have not emptied ourselves. God cannot dwell in a woman or a man for a matter of fact. See, people think that the church belongs to a man. But Christ is the head of the church. You're the head of the woman. In the natural. And you better watch yourself before you wreck yourself. Even with that. Amen. Praise the Lord. God called for you to love that woman. That's right. All right, I'm getting off the subject. Praise the Lord. I thought God was going to beat your off. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in order for you to be transformed, changed for the glory of God, because the first thing we think about ourselves, even while we're saved, we still have that selfishness. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. About ourselves. Yeah. So God wants us to be transformed right. by the renewing of our mind. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I repeat the scriptures all, uh, when I wake up at night. Yeah. I say the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. I shall not want. I just keep on saying it. Because I got to take over that old carnal mind. Yeah. Amen. So that I can get a new mind. And if you get new, a new mind, you will have new thoughts. Yeah. And guess what? Your, your thoughts 
control your attitude and your conduct. But you got to empty out yourself. And you got to do it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to uh, Ruth. But first I want to tell you about this one. A woman God can use. Or women. Her other word was uh, 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 integrity. I took the word loyalty. I like that. Because it means love. That you are devoted to one man. Hallelujah. And that man is Jesus. He's the only one that can transform you to make you his and his only. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus humbled himself. He did it himself. Now we can do it or God will do it for us. It's better you do it yourself. Amen. I'm talking to man and woman. Because God can't use a man if he don't humble himself. And put on the mind of Christ. What was Christ's mind? His mind was always to please God. Hallelujah. When he had a temptation in the garden. He had to be thinking himself. And he said for this reason. I came into the world. To die for sinners. See we think love is pleasing man or ourselves. But Jesus didn't please himself. He emptied himself of himself. He would not even be king like he was. Oh, he made himself of no reputation. He didn't go around saying, I'm Dr. So-and-so, so-and-so, so and so so and so Watch that now. Amen. Hallelujah. He just was Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He did not make himself of no bread. He emptied his own self. He became a servant. Now that's low. He took on the form of a servant. The form, you know, the image of. Oh, he was God, but he took on the form. He went about serving. You know how, I, I just got to tell you something about myself. You know how uh, we are with our husbands. We want them to, um, you know, to put us, uh, love us and, and uh, you know, put us first and everything. And, and my husband has this kind of thing, thing he don't want to do. He'll tell me, you go do it. <laughs> yeah, he put me in front then. So I get so used to being in front, so Teresa, I just step up front too often. Yes. <laughs> and then he pulled me back. You know? And so one day the Holy Ghost said to me, be a servant. Woo! Hallelujah! Be a servant. Just like my Lord. Though he was God himself, he served, he said, look here, let me tell you something. I serve people I made. Oh, you can't beat that. He said, they got my breath in them. And I washed their feet just to feed them. Oh, can you do that? I said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I was like Sarah. I want to serve. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah, yes, Lord. It was killing me. But that's what God wanted me to do. Kill me. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I can empty myself yes. and be transformed yes. by the renewing of my mind. I had a humble mind. Hallelujah. A mind to serve. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I feel so much better. I said, what do you want? Amen. I'm there to serve that man. Because I promised the Lord I'd do it. And then he told me, let go of my children. I love them those darkies so much. Amen. I just couldn't hardly let them go. But the Lord said, you got to let them go. You got to become a servant to them. Amen. I had a son, you know, and we, he didn't speak to me for a while. 
But I just kept on praying. Every time my knees on my knees, I kept on praying. I wasn't letting him go. I wasn't letting God go till he brought that son back. And guess what? He was at my house praying the other day. <laughs> of the Holy Spirit. She must be committed to Christ. I, I didn't say to her husband, although we are to honor them, but I said she must first be committed to Christ. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right then. Unselfish attitude. She must have an unselfish attitude. She can't go around bossing and, and, and being over. She must be humble. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to be entreated. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, are you hearing the Holy Ghost? Oh, yeah. God is calling us back. Glory. She must be sold out Glory. to the bare walls. Amen. 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 She's got to be sold out. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything she got that she thought was dear, she got to give it up. All right. God's asking for it, saints. Yes. He's asking for us to give up everything. Everything. Empty out yourself. Yes. This is the kind of woman God can use. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Amen. And so we said Romans 8 and 23. All oh, things. Now, now we have thought about troubles and trials. We don't like those. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Just raise your hand if you do. <laughs> but don't do it because you'll be fine. Praise the Lord. Every time trouble happens, we want to uh, 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 fix it. Yeah. So let's go to Naomi. She trial us if we're going to fix stuff. Right. Amen. Praise right. the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. I won't be before you but three hours. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You still love me, don't you? Amen. Naomi, now I'm not going to read all this story because you know it by heart, right? Yes. Amen. Just, just have them done, right? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, you know Naomi was a famine in Bethlehem. And everybody recognized Naomi as a very charismatic, uh, religious person. She had it all. And everybody looked on her because she had a reputation. Somebody say reputation. Amen. Amen. Of being a godly woman. But I tell you what, when things happen, we started fixing it, don't we? Oh, uh, no, because I tried to fix my husband, fix my children, fix the saints. I've just been fixing stuff. Amen. Haven't you? <laughs> so when the famine started, and that's why we got a problem, but God love Holy Ghost. Woo, he love y'all so much. Amen. Because you have love here. Glory. You just got to come back into it. Amen. 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 Fully, fully. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when Naomi went down into Moab, she said, I went out full and I came back in. She was bitter because of the trials of her life. She was going to fix it. They weren't staying there in that family. They took all their possessions. And sometimes we think our possessions are the things that make us happy. But it leaves us empty. Amen. And that's what God wants. He wants you to get empty so he'll take that stuff from you. Or he'll make it turn to dust right in your face. Amen. Why are you trying to run after your husband or run after everything but God? He'll just make it more empty and more empty and more empty. He's emptying that place for him. Oh, hallelujah. 
praise the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. He's emptying you out so he can fill you up again with his love. Amen. And so when she went out, then everything happened. Died. God is killing all that stuff that you think that's going to make your life happy. God will take it away. He will make it be rottenness in your bone. Because you filled up the wrong space without filling up with Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh -uh, aren't you glad God loved you tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're looking for things to make you happy. You thought that girl was going to make you happy. She did for a moment. But she couldn't take the place of Christ. You cannot let her take the place of Christ. She cannot be number one in your life. Young daughters, get Christ in your life. Then he will send you the man that will fulfill Amen. your life. Amen. Didn't God say, if you abide in me and I in you? Yes. Amen. You can ask for whatever you want. Yes. That's because you made him first. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Then he can give you somebody that loved Jesus just like you love yes. Jesus. Yes. Even if you're married to him, you can give him to God. Yes. Amen. He can give him back a new person. Isn't that what he did for Job? Yes. He gave him everything back. After he gave it all up. Tonight we need to empty out ourselves. So that God can fill that place. Amen. He can give you somebody else in space. In, 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 uh, in place of that other person. And so when uh, she had two daughter-in-laws. And you know one of them decided she'd go back. Naomi was showing loyalty and love. She was showing faith. Yet she thought she was self-sufficient. Isn't that two combinations that can't go together? Self-sufficient and love. Amen. They, they can't go together. They're separate. Amen. And you, you cannot be self-sufficient. You need God. But one thing a roof saw in her. That she was faithful. She didn't lose her faith in the Almighty God. That's right. She had flaws in her life, just like us. Yeah. Right, did I get an amen? amen? Did I get an amen? amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So You're going to have flaws, but don't concentrate on those flaws you have. Concentrate on pleasing God, and the flaws will fall off. Yes. Yes. He'll speak to you in the midnight and tell you what to do. Yes. He, he, he knows he won't even mention your flaws. He won't say that. Oh, you know. That's right. He won't say out loud when you eat too much pork chop. That's right. He won't say that. Right. And there you are concentrating on I eat too much pork chop. God is not concerned about that. He will take those pork chops out if he has to take your teeth out first. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. In his time, right? Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Oh, yes, we just need a little humor every once in a while because I, li I like to hit you upside the head, so I have to kind of let you smile. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, Ruth saw something. Sister Donna told us we are supposed to point people to Christ. Although she was down there, we don't see much of her life. But from what Ruth said, we saw her still praying to Jesus. We saw her still calling on the Almighty. Hallelujah. Because Ruth wouldn't have wanted to follow her. Yeah. Ruth probably wondered why in the world would this woman go back to somebody who took her husband, took her sons. Why would she want to return? Why, Holy Ghost, would you want to return to God tonight? Hallelujah. When he has not met all of your needs, your dearest needs, man, why would you want to return? Because he is the bread of life. He is all sufficient to supply every need. That's why you need to return, Holy Ghost. Because you left your first love. You got to come back to God. Like you did in the beginning. Remember how you always thought about him. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I was uh, in, in, a, in a, 
a, a thrift store and uh, they were playing, uh, what's this man named Lita that died? Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross. And, and they were just singing. I was riding on the bus. I thought about you. I was doing this and that. And I thought about you. All the way to hop into it myself. <laughs> to be thinking about him. Amen. Praise the Lord. They was just rocking and carrying on about that Luther Brandon and I almost got caught up. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Naomi didn't change her God. She was faithful to God. And that's what Ruth saw. That's what they need to see in us. Yeah. I see some of y'all hanging here tough. A lot of people done left. Glory. Now, now, I'm going to go back and tell them I was talking about leaving because I don't know what God told them to do. But I see that you were faithful. You stayed here and stuck it out. The choir didn't sing right, hallelujah, but you stayed on in the choir. The deacon board maybe didn't act right, but you stayed with the deacons. Amen. You stayed in there. You say it's a damn. You stayed out. I, I shouldn't start calling names because I can't call everybody a name. But you stayed. Praise the Lord. But God yet is calling us to a higher high. And the only way to go high is to go low first. Amen. You can't go high unless you go low. Amen. God humbled himself. When trials come, that's for you to humble yourself. Yeah. Not to criticize. Yeah. Not to judge. Yeah. But to humble yourself yeah. under his mighty hand. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. She turned. She didn't turn to other sources to fix her situation. She decided she wanted to go back to God. Saints, nobody else can fix your situation. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We we're taking uh, my husband to a doctor, but I told the doctor sitting up there, I said, you know I'm a doctor myself. I said, but <laughs> so, so um, I had to clear that up before he got anything else on his mind. Yeah. You know, and I said, I know another doctor. Hallelujah. Yeah. I know another doctor. Yeah. Yeah. He said, yeah, he's the only healer they just be talking because they've been taught that, you know. Right. But he, they don't believe it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I said, we just, we bringing him here. So we know medicine works sometimes. Oh, yeah. But because we know that the, 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 the doctor the, of doctors uh -huh. is the only healer. That's right. That's right. And so we took him first and laid him at Jesus' feet. All right. Hallelujah. All right. We take him there every day. All right. Through the night, I reach over and slap my hands on it and say, in the name of Jesus. I said, Satan, your, can your assignment is canceled. Yeah. We got to keep the faith. Do you know you have to fight the fight of faith? You have to lay hold on that thing and not let it go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And um, her, her faithfulness caused her to point Ruth. To God. Yes, yes. It was so strong in her because you know those Mo Moabites served other gods. Yes. Amen. But she didn't. She didn't turn to those gods while she was down there in Mo Moab. Yes. She kept on calling on the God Almighty. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. A woman God can use. Yes. Are you willing to be used by God? Yes. Because he's going to put you through the fire. Now, I'm going to tell you how it is. Yes. Yes. He's going to test you yes. to see if you really love him. Yes. And some of us have been self-sufficient. We fixed it. We did like Naomi. Mm -hmm. Naomi said, I'm not staying here and, okay. and, and this bread is all gone. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going and take out what I got and she said, I went out full. Sometimes we think the things of life will fill us up, don't we? Yes, yes we all think that. You might as well say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Say amen again. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 
She tried to get, uh, she felt the roof thing. She said, I don't have any more children in my womb. She was still trying to fix things. Yeah. Just like us. We're going to make everybody holy. Okay. Let them get holy on their own. You just pray for them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can't change people. Yeah. Believe me, I tried. Right. I even tried to change myself. <laughs> Amen. I had to give myself to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, he began this good work in me. That's what he said, didn't he? Yes. The Holy Ghost have to. She thought God had abandoned her. And we look like with these few scattered folk, we look like God has abandoned us. Yes. Don't we? Mm -hmm. And we, we think so sometimes. Mm -hmm. Where's everybody going? Oh. Amen. People are going to hear something to tickle their flesh. Oh. They ain't going to do no more than they did when you were here. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Don't y'all tell him I was talking about it. <laughs> Amen. What is the truth? We try to fix our situation. And she thought, but when she came back, the word of the Lord said she heard that was braided in Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Tonight, I pray God that he would open your ear. To hear that's bread here at Holy Ghost. It's Jesus Christ. The anointing is still here. Hallelujah. Jesus is still here. He has not abandoned Holy Ghost. He's calling us to return back to our formal days. You know, he was excited about Jesus. Saints, this, this is not just uh, coming to church. It's time to return to God. It's time to give him your best. It's time to make him your number one. Amen. Amen. So she could not because Ruth had determined faith. When you point others to Christ, they may bring forth more fruit than you do. Amen. Ruth did. She and Rahab was the only one that was in the lineage of Jesus. Women. People say God won't use women. Yes, he will. If he used a jackass, he certainly can use a woman. Can he? Amen. The jackass couldn't talk, but the Holy Ghost made him talk. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tell everybody, I know who saved me. I know who saved me. Because I was on my way to hell. On the dance floor. But the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. Praise the Lord. Ruth saw a deep love in Naomi. She had discernment even as a sinner. They can discern whether you're real or not. Oh, yes, they can. Sometimes you be clowning, but they still can see that Jesus in you. If you don't believe it, go back out there in the world. They point at you and say, I think I saw you over the Holy Ghost. <laughs> God will tell off on you, won't he? Yes, he will. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank God that Naomi was had some flaws in her life, as I said again. She tried to fix it, but God had to fix Naomi. He brought her back. Saints, when you come back to God, you may not know what's going to happen to you. He may not fix things like you think they ought to be. But he will fix them. Yeah. Naomi and her sons had not given her any children. But guess what? That daughter gave her the child, the grandchild that she wanted. The people you bring to Christ will begin to birth out. For you, it will be your inheritance. All right. That they that they will see. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. So when she Ruth said, I, I, I'm not going back. Now where did she get this from? She said, My God, your God yes. shall be my God. Yes. Yes. Your people yes. shall be my God. Yes. Wherever you go, I'm going with you. That's love, isn't it? Yes. That's love. 
That love came through Naomi to Ruth. We are to go out in the highways and byways yeah. and point people to Christ. Yeah. They don't say, I know you've been different stuff and all of that, but just tell people about Jesus anyway. Right. Amen. Right. <laughs> He's the one going to save them anyway. Right. Amen. You're not going to save nobody. Amen. Then God will back you up. Yeah. Won't he? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When you tell them about Jesus, Jesus. let's fill this house up. Yeah. All right. Stop squabbling among yourselves. Amen. Amen. Quit pointing the finger at Sister Amen. 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 All right. Don't be bothered by her lipstick too. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can talk about her. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Me and her used to get in more trouble with Sister Jane. Didn't we? <laughs> Praise the Lord. But she heard about the prayer. And so tonight, I just hope that you have um, uh, 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 been designed to change, yeah, 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 yeah. to put on the mind of Christ, yes. to be changed, yeah, yeah. to be transformed, yeah. not just have a form of godliness. See, Naomi had a form of godliness. She was religious. Everybody thought, and they wondered when she came back because God had emptied her. Yeah. They didn't know her. She thought God had abandoned her. Yeah. But he was just getting her ready. Right. Saints, God is just getting us ready. Yeah. We're emptying out so that he can fill us again. Yeah. He can transform us. Yeah. Change us yeah. by the renewing of our mind. Yeah. Saints, you got to get in that word. Right. you got to meditate in that word day and night. Yeah. Say, day and night. At least two times. Then after a while, your thinking will change. Amen. You'll be only for God. Amen. You put him first in your life. Naomi had determined, I mean, uh, Ruth had determined faith. She said, don't, don't ask me to leave. Amen. I want to stay with you. How many of us are able to draw people to Christ? By the life we live yes, and the service we give. Yes. Stop trying to change people. Glory. You can't change them. Glory. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Amen. 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 He wants us to return empty just like Naomi. She thought she was full. So she was empty all the time. Glory. She just didn't know it. Because she was full of, of, of self sufficiency. Yes. And when you come to Christ, that's what you're full of. You're full of self sufficiency. Amen. We leave the Holy Ghost and then we start uh, telling God what to do. Amen. Amen. We do. We do. God say, uh, do so and so, so, and we, we get started. And then we tell the Holy Ghost, okay, I got this. I got this. <laughs> I got this. You can stand back now. You got it started, but I, I got this. Amen, don't we? Amen. I know you didn't know you were saying it, but that's why I'm here so I can tell you. That you mm -hmm. He wants to transform our thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Naomi was selfish in that she tried to fix everything. How many of us try to fix? I want you to know tonight. Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread, but by everywhere. That's the only way we're going to receive life eternal. Right. Is that we got to live by the word every day. Yes. Those trials you're in, Sister Teresa, Amen. is to get God going to get your mind. Yes, he wants it. And they won't last long. All right. the, the, the moment you give up, that's when they'll stop. All right. But as long as you're holding on to it, holding on to those right. children. Amen. They will not stop worrying you. Right. You will have those sleepless nights. Mm -hmm. You will have those trying to fix it, husbands. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. There is something mighty sweet about the Lord. Oh, say, say something mighty sweet about the Lord.
Heavenly Father, as we come together in the name of Jesus, in one mind, in one heart, Lord, touching and agreeing upon this one thing. Lord, we ask you to send your word to Brother Paul's body, Lord, to inhale him, Lord. We believe that it's for your glory, Lord, that this sickness, Lord, that he might glorify you and that the kingdom might be blessed because God is a miracle worker. So we thank you, Lord, for healing all hearts. We believe and we receive. Lord, we bring him to you right now and we lay him at your feet. We know you won't step on him and you won't step over him. But Lord, you will hear him. See our faith tonight because we come, hallelujah, to you. Because we can bring him to none greater. We bring him to you, Lord. And everyone that's sick in the building, we bring uh, uh, Sister Dorothy, Lord. We bring her before you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> 